Hey, hey, and welcome. It's Tony Harmer here with another episode of Work Smarter, Not Harder. And in this movie, we're going to take another look at something to do with mapping. Last video, we did something with drawing roads. This time, we're going to add a river to a map. So I've got this file open in Illustrator just here. There's a few different layers, for example, one for the roads, and then there's one to describe the different areas there uh, and the building that's in there and so on. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn on this template layer at the background, and then I'm going to Alt-click the icon for that. So you can see the little template layer I've got here, which was originally drawn in Adobe Photoshop Sketch on my iPad, just as a quick scamp of how this is going to look. So I need to draw a river here. It's got a few different characteristics. It gets very wide at one point, just out on one side, and it narrows down as it goes along. So I'm going to do a loose interpretation on that. So I've got this river layer here to work with. And what I'm essentially going to do right now is I'm going to get the pen tool, and then I'm going to start off a curve just here, and then move in, kind of just make the necessary curves here. Like I say, I'm following it fairly loosely just to draw that around like so. So just bring that down. And I think that will kind of do it, really. So I'm just going to get the direct selection tool there and just pull that down like so. I think that's OK. Those are all in more or less the right place. I might just tweak this one at the top because it should kind of curve round. Just there, it's based on the river in my uh, hometown, actually, this one. So there you go. There's the river just there. And what I'm going to do now is switch out to the uh, stroke panel just here and then just increase uh, the weight of that stroke slightly and what might also help so that you can see it of course is if I actually gave it some color so I'm just going to apply that and come up to my swatches panel I've got a whole bunch of different swatches here uh, at the moment my stroke is in the background so I'm going to tap X to bring that to the foreground and then just apply a color to that here so there you go, purple river there very nice. <laughs> so we'll do that or maybe pick up something from the color panel. There you go. That's much more like it. That's much more the sort of river shape I'd like there. Zoom out a little bit. And now uh, we've got that on there. This is actually being clipped on this layer, by the way, by an opacity mask that's attached uh, to the layer, uh, just so you know. So I'm going to come in now, zoom in on this area just here, okay, and I'm going to hold down the shift key and tap W, which gets me my width tool. OK, so that's over uh, here in the toolbox with the distort and transform tools just there. So what I'm going to do now, I choose a few different points. So actually thinking about it, the overall stroke weight there needs to be a bit more. So I'm just going to dial that out to where it sort of gets narrow. There. So I'll just push that out there. So 38 points is doing perfect just there. I'm going to move down a little way. So the river starts to get wider just here. So I'm going to pull that out like so. OK, so that gets wider and that will taper off towards uh, this part just here. Now I'll come back out and I'm going to add a couple more width points. Right. So I'm going to go here and just drag that out a little way. Now that's actually just a little bit too wide on this side, on the left hand side. So I'm going to add another width point just here. But this time, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and just pull that in just on that side there. There you go. So you can see how that gets narrower just there. OK, I'll move on out now. And just here, this needs to get a little bit wider just there. And again, fairly asymmetrical just here. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key, just pull that side out. Then I need a couple of width points either side of it. Again, they should be a little bit more asymmetrical. So I'll bring that out. And you could see that pretty much you could follow kind of any kind of contour really quite easily here uh, with this. It's really amazing that uh, you can do that. It's been around for a little while now, but I'm always surprised by the number of people I find who don't actually use it. Now, the hidden trick with this, because I'm sure that's why a lot of people come here to discover those uh, hidden tricks that you don't find uh, very readily. Uh, and people ask me, can you control these things with numbers? Does it have to be uh, just done by dragging? Because I want a little bit more precision than that. 
And the answer is yes, and it's also very, very simple. So with any given width point or one that you click and add, all you need to do is go to the width point yeah, here on the line, for example, or just out here, double click on it. And then that will give you a dialogue, which is just happened to pop up off screen. So I'll drag it on here. OK, and you can see there's the total width of the stroke just there. And here's side one and side two. Yeah, so if I need perhaps to dial down side one, and I'll do it quite a bit just for a minute. There you go. You can see that. I can just pull that out and change that like so. There you go. And side two, just so you can see, bring that in and out just there. If you need more contours and features, then just add more width points. It really doesn't matter uh, essentially how many you add at all. So you can just keep on going till you've got the shape that you're after. Now this to me at the moment, if I just fit this to the view, so that's kind of drawn the way I want it to be. But at the moment it's a little bit flat and featureless. So I want to add something else to that. So let me turn on the other layers uh, or turn off the, the template layer just for the moment so we can see just the river and then I'll turn these on. So I'm going to go to the appearance panel and what I'm going to do is target that particular stroke and then click this icon down here because this duplicates the selected item because I need the sort of width profile for this as well. So if I click just here and then just expand this just a little bit more you can see if I click on stroke there, there's the actual profile that I've described. So with this, I'm going to click for the stroke and then come down to the sort of loader area in the stroke panel. So if I click on that, we come down to patterns and in basic graphics, textures just there. So if I open up that panel, I've got mine set as a list because I think this one is actually easier to see as a list and it's really simple to change that around using those options there. I'm going to choose this ripple option. Right? So if I do that, then I've got this ripple over the top. Now, to me, that looks horrible just at the minute. I'd really like it to, to kind of catch um, the light, as it were. So I want lighter specs over the top there. Well, that's easy to change as well. All I need to do is to go into my swatches panel just here. And in fact, I could even deselect uh, this at the moment while I do this. And there's my little pattern swatch just at the top there. Okay, if I double click on that, then I'll go into pattern editing mode. All I need to do here is to select all. Okay, so it's showing me a sort of a duplicated area of the pattern. But now I can just change the color of those strokes. So maybe I want to go for something quite light like that, which I've just done. Let me just zoom in so you can see what I've done there. So I've just selected those things. If I make them yellow for a second, you better see that. But this nice light blue that I chose just a second ago, that will do perfectly just there. Okay. So I'll fit that out and now I'll tap done at the top of the screen. And you can see that already that has changed. It's now much, much softer. And you could just change that as many times as necessary, of course, with the minimum of effort. So let's just alt click the icon here just to turn the other layers on. So there you are. There's the river. That's how to do it really, really quickly. Use the width tool, make it a little bit more featured by adding some texture over the top. And of course, you could always make your own for that. But that's it. So until next time, see ya. Mm -hmm.